Hey my friend Camille Thompson here back with another video. So today let's talk about this because a friend of mine asked me the other day, Camille, how can I make improvement in my life? Um, so my question to her, what is going on? She said, well, it just feel like nothing isn't going right. Like no matter how much I start to do something, it just doesn't go right. So I felt like it's time to talk about it because oftentimes we overlooked uh, our daily life situation circumstances and sometimes we don't really read between the lines to see what might have been causing this so I spoke with her and by the time I was finished with her she got clarity from it and she felt like this was profound so to speak like it really helped her and I spoke with her this week and she was so happy for the information I gave her. So I decided, you know, let's, let's talk about it. Right. And I'm not saying this because, um, like my life is better than yours or, you know, I'm not coming to you like I'm a motivational speaker or anything of that nature, but I feel like encouragement, strength and labor. And sometimes someone else wants to hear this. I'm not sure the reason why you are here, why you're watching this, but I felt like it's time to talk about it. So how to make improvement in your life. And I have my notes here because I want to make sure that I'm hitting those key points just like I was able to address that to her and gave her some clarity. So the first thing is we want to make sure that you're observing your lifestyle. Seriously, sometimes the environment that we are currently in, it impacts the, the way how we feel, the things that we do, our mindset, it just all depends, right? So what this means is, let's say for example, if you have a group of friends and uh, let's say for example, you have four friends, two, you know, all they talk about is drama, negativity. Um, you know, they just feed pure negative and when you hang around that person, it's going to rub off. You're going to start to feel the same way. Anything, you know, you see out there, instead of trying to find the good out of it, you're going to see the bad out of it, right? Y your response is always going to be negative versus if you have two uh, motivational friends or uh, friends that all they speak is life into you, right? Then no matter how much you're hearing this bad news or information, you'll know how to make something good out of it. You know how to climb your way out of it. Or perhaps even though it may be negative, you'll be able to tell your mind you'll come back, so to speak. So I don't know if that's making sense to you. So it's all about like the environment, checking your lifestyle, see who is around you because our day-to-day -day activity impacts our daily life and outcome, believe it or not. So it's all about observing your lifestyle and just checking your surrounding. The next thing I'm gonna say is to subtract anything that is not working for you. So what this means is if the environment is negative and it's not adding any positivity to your life, you definitely want to subtract. You want to move yourself away from it. So going back to what I was telling you, your friends, if you, if you notice just pure negativity, you take yourself away from it and you add. So add more to what is producing results for you. So if you have that group of friends where you know they are your accountability partner, they are speaking live into you, they are giving you information to help change your situation to make improvement, you want to add more to that, right? You want to be amongst them so they can help you grow. And then don't be afraid to invite newness into your life. So what this means, don't be afraid to add new things as long as it's going to get, get you results, so to speak. Another the thing is um, most of the time we don't like to add newness because we're so conditioned to our daily habits and sometimes you have to try to make improvements add newness and try and test your limit is so important when you test your limit you'll be surprised to know the skill set you have you'll be inspired by the way how you're able to articulate a certain things right even in your job performance taking up a new position you never know sometimes you have to test your limit you have to walk out on faith and this is how you make improvements on your life because why you're willing to take risks, you're willing to try, you're willing to add newness and to see if it's, it's going to work for you or not. Now, I always say, listen, if something doesn't work for you, it's not failure. You're learning from it.
It's a learning experience, right? And so you grow from there, you take that and you move forward. But this is how you make improvements on your life. You have to change your environment if you notice it's not helping you to grow. If it's not adding value to your life, you wanna subtract yourself away from it and add newness and anything that's gonna help to impact your daily life for the better and not for worse. So I was able to share this with my friend and I'm telling you, it was like, it was like a haha -ha moment for her. In order for you to make improvement in your life, sometimes you have to jump out of your comfort zone. You have to get uncomfortable because at the end of the day, you're trying to make improvement in your life and speak life into yourself and, and making sure you're able to grow in your daily life. So I hope this information was able to help you out. Let me know your thoughts on it. Drop me a comment here below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe if you're brand new to this channel here. Camille Thompson, bye.